My name is Sam Mabrouk. I'm a postdoc slash research engineer at Georgia Tech. Originally from Egypt, uh, born and raised there. Really what got me into engineering is just, I always like to, to build stuff. It's actually kind of funny, whenever I used to pass like test or do well on a test, uh, my gift would be a Lego. You know, growing up was kind of the, the time where smartphones were coming out uh, and there's just like new model every year, uh, something new happening with them. So that kind of what got me into electronics. Recently we had our first child, so since November of last year it's been uh, it's either work or spending time with the, with the kids. When I was here in undergrad and we were always just checking in with each other, found my advisor and so he does a lot of bioengineering. So we develop sensors and uh, algorithms and signal processing and for uh, detecting like physiological changes. And that was really interesting for me is just, it felt like this sort of application was uh, just very hands-on. At the same time, you kind of see the impact uh, on, on people's lives. Back in 2017, when I started my grad school, they asked the nurses, like, hey, what's your number one problem that you want to get a solution for? And they were like, IV, like, infiltrations. IV therapy is just intravenous fluid being delivered to your bloodstream. It's usually through a, a polymer catheter that gets inserted into your vein, and then the medication will just go through into your bloodstream. Uh, however, in some cases, uh, that, that vein gets a little weak, or with some movements, the catheter might dislodge and then you end up getting a lot of that fluid uh, building up in the, in the space. There was definitely the challenge of like, understanding the sensors and how they work and kind of like, going into the, the details of the, like, the sensing circuit itself. What really helped me, uh, especially early on, was my embedded background. Uh, so working at Tesla, working at Panasonic, that helped a lot with the ability to spin up boards uh, quickly, write firmware, get solid data that we could verify our sensors are doing their thing. With this, I have the sensor with this little patch and the electronics here. We're able to just stick this on the site and uh, hopefully we'll tell the nursing staff if an infiltration is taking place and alert them as soon as possible to come and you know, mitigate the risks and the damage. Now being really into the weeds of the problem and knowing its impact, uh, that's, that's for this project my goal is to see it come through and get approved by the FDA and have these out there and hopefully show impact uh, with these kids.